Hello, Hardies. It's Marcus Rosner, and I play Charles on When Calls the Heart. When did I first know I wanted to become an actor? Um, well, I was 17. Uh, I had just graduated from high school, and my mom and I were in New York. Uh, she took me on this graduation trip. I had always wanted to go to New York, never been. And so the two of us went for about a week and, and saw the sights and, and what was there and whatnot. And um, we were walking down Broadway, and I remember seeing these big banners for the New York Film Academy. And so we went inside and poked around and asked a few questions. I said, like, what do you guys do here? And they said, well, this is the acting department. We teach people how to act. And I thought that was the craziest thing. I didn't know you could teach people how to act. I never really considered how people got into that kind of thing. And, and then uh, I went home back to Edmonton, Alberta, and I just went online and looked up where the closest film school was to myself, and that was here in Vancouver. And so I moved out here about six months after that and started going to the uh, Vancouver Film School. And uh, that was my first introduction to acting. I never, I didn't go take drama or anything like that in high school or, or any, any plays or anything. What was my favorite show growing up and why? Uh, probably Boy Meets World. Um, I loved it. I watched it every single day I grew up. Um, I like the the brotherhood in it between Corey and Sean. I like the uh, like the like the prepubescent love story between Topanga and Corey. I like the the neighbor, the principal, Mr. Feeney. I don't know. I felt safe and familiar and uh, relatable at that time. What hobbies and interests do I have outside of acting? Uh, besides acting, I like uh, hip hop music a lot. Um, sports, huge sports fan. Uh, big comedy fan, which is sort of like acting but different. I follow a lot of comedians on on Twitter, and I see their comedy acts whenever I'm down in LA. Um, yeah, big fan of those things. What drew me to audition for When Calls the Heart? Um, well. As an actor who's in the place I am in my career, you basically just audition for anything and everything that comes available to you. And so I had honestly never even heard of When Calls the Heart when I auditioned for it. Uh, I auditioned for it, I got shortlisted or put on hold for the role of Charles pretty quickly, and then a month went by and uh, I didn't hear anything. And so in that month, I, I was pretty optimistic, I, I felt like it went really well and uh, and I felt like I was, I was good for it. And so I, I watched the first season of When Calls the Heart, and, uh, and I actually quite liked it, and uh, yeah. And so then, yeah, a few weeks later, I got the call that I, I got the part, and I, I had no idea what it would grow into or how big it would be. That was a nice surprise, but uh, I thought it'd be just one episode, two episodes, three episodes, but no, it was really, uh, it's been a fun ride. What do I love about Charles, and how would I like to see him develop? What I like about Charles, and what I've always liked about Charles, is that he... He has class, but I think it's... I don't see any, any pomp in him, any pompous nature. I, I've always felt that he's very earnest and measured. And although he comes from this really high society background, he understands how ridiculous it can be at times. He understands the expectations that come with it. And he's just very at home in it. He's not malicious. It doesn't shrink him or make him petty. And he's just earnest in his pursuit of Elizabeth. To him, the Elizabeth Charles story is the love story. He doesn't know about Jack. He didn't see their relationship develop. All he knows is this history that he has with this girl that he he loves very deeply, but has never been able to say until now, and now it might be too late. Um, as far as developing Charles, I think he'd be a really interesting fit in Hope Valley. I think that some of the stuff we've done with Charles being in Hope Valley has, has yielded some really interesting scenes, and uh, I think that'd be 
an interesting route to go down. I have no idea what the future holds for him. I would like to see him find some sort of happiness at some point, in some way. Don't want the guy chasing forever. If I could choose to play any character on When Calls the Heart, uh, well, what's funny is actually I auditioned for, for Leland Coulter as well um, when I was on hold for the role of Charles. Uh, a couple weeks after I auditioned for him, Leland Coulter character came to the table, went in and, and auditioned for him, and uh, I had a lot of fun with that, which Kevin Smith does an excellent, excellent job. He's perfect for the role. He's hilarious. He brings just the right amount of uh, modern, contemporary humor to the character that is the essence of the entire character. Um, and yeah, I think that if I wasn't playing Charles, which I like playing Charles quite a bit, I think uh, Leland would probably be a lot of fun for all those reasons. What is my favorite Wang Calls the Heart scene or moment? Um, well, my favorite scene or moment comes at the end of season two, but for the sake of spoilers, I won't describe it. Um, but I think it's 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 the pivotal scene slash moment in the in the series. Um, but otherwise, my favorite scene comes in episode six of season two. It's uh, it's between Charles and Jack. I go up to him to try to find a, a stagecoach to get me out of town, and uh, we have a very fun uh, fishing innuendo about the courtship of Elizabeth that uh, is a little blatant and interesting. What about when calls the heart inspires me? Um, I would have to say the perseverance with the, the widows. I really like that storyline, which is kind of the through line for the whole show, in that they experience this, this big mining disaster they lost so many of their husbands um, and fathers, and now these women are basically trying to build and maintain this town and raise their kids. And that brings true for myself because I grew up with a single mother for my younger, younger years. And uh, the episode where they all gear up and they get down to the mine, and Lori Laughlin's all dirty, and they're just trying to do exactly what they need to do to keep things going for their families is, is really inspiring. Okay, how Canadian am I? Where is my favorite place in Canada? Sherwood Park, Alberta. That's the town I grew up in. It's just outside of Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, that's where everyone I grew up with, everyone I love, that's where they all live, that's where I go home, so. Who is my favorite famous Canadian? Um, probably George St. Pierre, the uh, mixed martial artist, the fighter. Uh, he re retired a couple years ago, but uh, yeah, probably George St. Pierre, GSP. Napkin or serviette? I have no idea what a serviette is. Napkin. Mr. Dress-Up or Friendly Giant? What was the Friendly Giant? Mr. Dress-Up. Nanaimo Bar or Butter Tart? That's a good one. Uh, butter Tart. Nanaimo Bar is, is too rich. You can't have like 12 of them. Butter Tarts, you can just keep going all day. Moose or Beaver? The age-old question. <laughs> um, moose. I would much rather see a moose. Big, majestic, rarely seen. Ketchup chips or poutine? I did not know ketchup chips were a Canadian thing until I spent some time down in LA recently. And uh, I didn't miss them. Poutine. Coffee crisp or arrow? Was Canadian? Um, coffee crisp. 
<laughs> Hockey or curling? Hockey. Okay. Duct tape or zipper? Wait, what? Are you using them for the same thing? Are you... They're not... They're not exactly either or objects, you know? Uh... Well, if I'm... If we're talking coats, I want a zipper. And if we're talking boxes, I want duct tape. Hey, Hardies. Thank you for watching and supporting the show. Without you, we literally wouldn't have a season three on the way for you. I hope you're enjoying all that season two has to offer. And uh, take it easy on Charles. He means well.